years. It was just amazing. Another championship. I worked with the, the Washington Capitals. Just got their first Stanley Cup, literally in 40 years. So I understand what it takes momentum-wise. But if you see somebody like Steph Curry, how does he make those like half-court freaking shots? You know, how does he do that? He just shows up? No, it's repetition. He has precise knowledge of what to do, but he has so much emotion. He's done it so many times that you eventually get to the third step. And the third stage is physical mastery. Physical mastery is you don't have to think about it, it just happens. You know, how many of you have an area of your life where there's something you do that other people might find hard, but honestly you've done it so much and you're so good at it and you just have so much experience in it that it's easy for you, even though it might be harder for other people. How many got something like that in your body that you do? I'm curious, say I. That's when you get the physical mastery and when it's physical mastery there's no thought. It just happens. So the reason I do four day immersions and seven day immersions is if we do things enough over and over again with enough emotion, enough consistency, it gets in your body and you want to think. It just becomes happy. So I've only got, you know, four, four and a half hours, which probably sounds like a lot of time to you, especially at this hour of the day. And if we do it the way we're doing it right now, it'll feel overwhelming. What we have to do is activate your emotion and that means your energy. Because I want to ask you, of all the things we could talk about, I can tell you a million strategies. I've spent 41 years of my life, it's my 41st year doing this. I started when I was three, of course. Um, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> But the bottom line is, in those decades, I've found all these strategies. But you know what I found? Strategies are worthless unless you have enough repetition, enough emotion, enough intensity, and the energy in your body. Otherwise, it just becomes knowledge. And it's not an active part. How many follow? So if we're going to shift it, we got to shift the energy too. So how important do you think energy is to getting results in business? How important is energy to your capacity? Like, on a zero to ten scale, why would you put energy and its importance to success in business or in life? Do you have a number for you? What is it? Ten. How many of you get at least a nine or less? Let me see your hands. How many of you get ten or above? Yeah, I believe it's ten or above. How many people above ten on the zero to ten scale? You just run over four minutes. That's how. But here's what I mean. I'll give an example. Let's say your energy drops and you're feeling low energy stress. Do you process your life the same way? Yes or no? No, the mind changes based on the level of energy. It's like, if you have a computer and you plug it in the wall and it doesn't have enough juice, it's not going to play, it's going to be scrambled, it's not going to work well. That's how most human beings are. So, before we get up and do a damn thing, the, if I did nothing with you tonight, all we did was four and a half hours was push your energy like you never have and you built muscle, I don't just mean physical muscle, I mean emotional muscle. Faith unused, does it grow or shrink? Tell me. Which one? Passion unexpressed, does it expand or contract? See, if you don't use it, you... And the bottom line is, energy is emotional energy, psychological energy, spiritual energy is what gets the job done. That's what people feel in you. It's not what you say. It's the way you are. And so if we're going to do that, let's take an example we can all relate to. Real intimate relationship. So think about this for a moment. Let's imagine we have two people that totally love each other. They adore each other. And they both have super high energy, meaning they train their mind and body to keep up. Doesn't matter what hits them, they get up and they rock and roll still. They have a real great psychology and energy. What's this relationship going to be like? Two people totally love each other, super high energy. Is it going to be an okay relationship? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be great? Is it going to be magnificent? You tell me. Awesome. Come on, y'all out. What is it? 